All right, guys, we're back live at the World Pickleball Championship here in Punta Gorda, Florida, at the Pickleplex. And uh, Eddie, uh, did you get any sleep last night? A few hours. I hear you. Me too. Just a few. Enough. All right. We're about to kick this thing off here with the third match. So you've got Lucy and Simone once again versus Abby Brooks in the turquoise, dark turquoise receiving, and uh, her sister, Vivian David. That's a great lob. Monster block because they ripped it at her. You can tell it's a little like um, muggy this morning. Mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're sweating already. Everybody's it's a little. There's a little uh, condensations in the air. I guess yeah. you would say. Got that Florida humidity going on. It's a it's a cool humidity though, it is. right now. It Once is. that sun comes out though, boy, wow. it's gonna get me warm. If you look at Simone's uh, shoes, actually, she's got the new, looks like the new tie rolls. Tie rolls, yeah. Those are sharp looking. I like them. If I'm not mistaken, I believe those are the ones with the updated soles that last a lot longer than the original. Shout out to Tyrol too. They are one of the sponsors here. I've seen their sign. And um, that new shoe, that black, uh, that blue and gray that she's wearing, I, I'm digging it. That yeah, ball hung up there just a little bit. Simone able to put it away on a forehand there. Two, one, one. No. That's a good shot by Simone. It's the element of surprise that I think she does so well. She stays very low and compact, and you don't know when she's going to dink and when she's going to fire it at you. And that's, that's part of her allure there. She does a great job, I think, of disguising her shots. That's a rare miss serve there by Four, Lucy. One, Fortunate for her, it's not rally scoring. So. Yeah. I think Abby kept that ball just low enough. She she brought it into the wheelhouse of Lucy's backhand, which mm -hmm. is not a great idea. But she kept it low enough that uh, Lucy couldn't do much with that. Vivian was preparing for uh, the attack. Shot there. Yeah. The assault. She was ready. She's got great hands. Uh, Vivian is very, I think, underrated in our sport. She she works a lot of hours at her dad's store, and so she doesn't get to play a ton of tournaments. But when she does, she boy, she's fun to watch. She gets to train on an indoor court mm -hmm. at the uh, Tennis and Pickleball U.S. store, so that's pretty cool, actually. I think Abby's, she's ready. She's there. She sees the shot. Mm -hmm. She's just a slight bit behind these right now. Yeah. I've noticed she's she's just a step behind it. Maybe a little tight, a little tense. Is Very that, much yeah. so. You can see it. She's a little tight, a little tense right now. But, you know, granted, this is their first, I mean, time playing Simone and Lucy. And um, I, I would expect I would be a little tight too, wouldn't you? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> More than a little. I mean, I, I can only imagine how it'd feel to... Because this has not happened a ton where you see Lucy and Simone playing on the same side. It's going to, in 2020, 
we're going to see this a lot more. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying it's not been something you've seen um, a ton. So my point being, um, it's got to be just a slight bit intimidating when you come out there on the court and you see the number one and number five uh, or number four um, women's doubles player in the world facing off against you. Yeah, just a little bit. Huh? We always joke about, you know, who do you pick on? Well, right. obviously neither one. Yeah. You're not going to pick on either one of those ladies. All right, it's 5 one, one coming out of the timeout here. Remember, these games are to 15. Switching to 8. And to have a chance at upsetting the number one and number four player, those balls have to go over the net. They just yeah. have to for you to have a chance. Vivian wants that one back for sure. Oh, yeah. And I, I think she, she had everything lined up perfect. It just didn't go over there. They just, like have to, caught, yeah. they just have to settle in. Mm -hmm. No, no, I, that, that that ball is uh, out. Oh, it was out? Oh. Yeah, it didn't catch. I thought it did. It gotcha. Did. But again, our angles are so bad yeah. from over here as far as the lines. You see that? She missed it, but did you see the flow of that? Lucy rips down the line. Simone slides over and just grabs it. She missed it, but that's not the point. The point is she's not going to miss the next one. Nope. It, it was the was plan. Fool me once. Shame yeah. On you. Yeah. <laughs> you see, they're attacking though. Do you see that? Like their 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 game plan is to come in and and, and rip at them. You know, they're they're mo where in the game against like Cassandra and and Katie, um, it was a lot of defense and like winning points on some different variations. But this feels like they're attacking on a third shot drive, and the other one's kind of poaching, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like a shake and bake. Yep. Eight one two. Boy, these games can get out of the hands quickly. Yeah, they can. I think for Abby and Vivian, they just need to settle in, stop worrying maybe so much about who they're playing over there on the other side, and just play their game. Play their game, yeah. Because they have game, <laughs> and they. When they catch fire, they can they can do a lot of damage. But I think some of it might be nerves. Some of it might be they're just not quite in that flow. Mm -hmm. What did you say? The state of the flow. State of flow, man. Yep. One eight two. Nice reset there by Vivian. Just long. Again, I think I think Abby's there. She's ready. She sees the ball. She's just a s slight bit behind it. She's not really crisp on getting on top of those balls right now. Hopefully she can make that adjustment. Again, a, a rare miss by Lucy there. She doesn't normally miss that drive shot. 8-1-2. There you go. She's, she's adjusting. See that? She was on top of that one faster there. It must feel like such an uphill battle mm -hmm. playing against those two over there. Just, just every... Because you know that they're just going to grind you out. Yeah, and like every point's just like a struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they've scored one point to their 10. And it just feels like every so so this is when I guess you would say you're a little outmatched per yep. se because the points are flowing so easily for the other team over there, Lucy and Simone. And and and, and if you look as I talk about Vivian and, and Abby here, Vivian on the screen is the um, number eighty second in uh, mixed doubles and then in the GPR system and she's the number two hundred and eighteenth in the women's doubles because she hasn't played a ton of tournaments um and then she's the number 10 in the singles like we talked about yesterday abby is the number 49th in the world in ladies doubles and the 13th ranked in singles so uh we can appreciate those graphics and those overlays that's a great return 
Yeah, see, they coming out of that timeout, that's a big yeah. Like that's a big confidence booster right there when you get that right there. Um again, once again proving our point that the timeouts are valuable. by both sides but digging is on point right now oh man good defense just that ball sailed wide just a little bit i'd say you could blame the wind but there's actually no wind really right now yeah the wind has died down the sun is making its way out which is refreshing I think compared to yesterday barbecue food truck is uh starting their grills up i can smell that charcoal absolutely that ball landed outside the Box. Vivian, <laughs> Vivian with a big deep breath right there. Yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's a struggle sometimes, you know, when you're playing against top teams. Um, I mean, I, I have not played Simone and Lucy per se exactly, but I've played some of the bigger names in the sport. Sure. And it, it just feels like you're just you're just drowning. <laughs> yeah, they know how to just lay it on and keep pressing and pressing. Yeah, I mean, this is tournament time, right? Right. And I'm telling you, a lot of this comes down to confidence. Mm -hmm. It's just, just knowing that you belong makes a big difference. But it starts with your inner belief. That's a friendly roll. And look at the defense by Lucy and Simone right there. I mean, that's just, I love mm -hmm. watching those resets like that. All right, see, they've gotten a yeah. little bit going since it, that timeout. It does seem like that timeout definitely changed things a little bit for them. They seem to be playing their game a little better. Absolutely. A little more comfortable out there. Yeah, you can see it. You can actually physically see it. And that that's what I love about pickleball is you might be down 10 to 1 and all of a sudden, or 11 to, to 1, and all of a sudden you're, you're on the move. And you, you look like a totally different team. Make no mistake. Simone and Lucy aren't going to change anything. They're yeah. going to continue to grind and do what they do best and just wear you out and work you. But Three, it's up two. to these two over here on this side, Vivian and Abby, to prove that they that they do belong. To the, They clearly have the skill set, physically have the skill set. They're, I think they're catching a little bit of momentum here, and yep. the confidence seems to be changing. Well, I mean, especially when you have such a score differential, I feel like it plays on both teams. The, the team that's down, they're probably thinking, I got nothing to lose, let's turn this up. And then the team that's up is probably thinking, I'm going to slow it down, play a little more conservative. Not sure if that really applies to, you know, the, the two of them out there, Simone and Lucy, but it could play into the psyche of it. No, for sure. Thank you. Maybe let off the throttle a little bit if you're up 11 to 3 or yeah. 11 to 1. Making sure your shots are definitely going in, taking less risks. Wait, I would have I would have attacked that ball. After Vivian hit that first one and pulled Lucy far, I would have come up and, and ripped on that next one because you, you you can't wait around on that ball. I think she if she could go back, she would probably do that different. All right, 11-5. tell you it's it's far from over far from over it's only four points that simone and lucy need to get to win this game but it can feel like a long four points if you're not taking control of these points right here and i see a difference in the body language between abby and vivian um there's a point for lucy and simone there so at this point every point's crucial for for vivian and abby you, you can't let them score too many in a row here See, to me, I, I, I could have swore that ball landed, but I have such a bad angle from where we are. Being this low. 
And, and no argument from Simone, so she clearly saw it out as well, but that's good defense. Get there. Ah, that's that's tough play. Tough play and but it's up here uphill sliding right now still. They're they're just not gaining control of every point right now and and they've I mean they've got to do just a little bit more offensively right now to get back in this game. Vivian hung that, that dink up just enough, and Simone's not going to wait around and let that ball bounce. No, she's not. She knew exactly what she was going to do with that ball the second it went up. I mean, you put it just slightly above It's over that attack spot she's going for. It. Either one of them, mm -hmm. Lucy or Simone. But Simone's so patient, mm -hmm. and she just waits for the perfect ball to put away. It's almost like Simone waits for the, like, the highest percentage ball, yep. which is such a disciplined asset and skill set. 12-5-2. Wow, what a serve. Ah, but Abby played it well. Yes, she did. It's just too much. Simone's in that attack mode. Mm. Simone's taking the court over right now. I know this sounds crazy to say, but Simone's like, Lucy, watch out, get out of the way. Yeah. I got you. I got you right I, now. I think they've played enough together now to where they and, – and both of them will do that. Both of them yeah. are going to yeah. go. And I think at, they both recognize it. Yeah. You'll see Lucy take over and Simone yep. take a backseat. But I think it's such a fluid – team that even one of them can, can throttle up at any point and just take this take the game over that's a good let let go because mm -hmm. that's a dangerous shot for Simone she can put that ball in nine nine out of ten times all right at this point they need to forget the score and they just need to play I like the smiles between Lucy and Simone. They seem very relaxed and mm -hmm. they have a good time together. Wow, that was the first time this this whole event this whole event so far where we've had a ball make its way over onto center court. That must have been a really poorly hit ball from that court over there. It must have been <laughs> Eddie or Scott over on that court, it seems like. <laughs> They've got to find a way to reset here. You can't just stay back like that and let. But there you go. They got to work their way back up just like that. That's as I was saying it. It was unfolding. They they finally got a ball that they could reset there a little bit and get up there. Six fourteen two. Six fourteen two. Ball in the booth. Got another ball in the booth. I was actually going to save your life again there for the second time. No. I think you owe me a beer or <laughs> at least another pizza. Sounds good, know. man. <laughs> actually, that microphone saved you right there. Did you see it hit the microphone? I'll let you take credit for it. Thank you. That's good play right there. Mm, good so, play. so let's see what they do with this series right here because they just held at 14-6. They've got – I can tell they're playing with more confidence, but can they overcome this struggle fest that's been going on so far trying to win points against Simone and Lucy? Again, that's a gutsy let go right there. Bought a lot of topspin. You know what, though? I mean – I think she's so disciplined with it. She knows that, hey, one out of 20 might land in. It's worth it. Still worth it to let those go. 100% worth For it. For me, it's like one out of three. Yeah. And I'm happy with that. If you can get one out of three, you're, you're, <laughs> a, you're a happy camper. I'm a happy guy. Because it's much better than the... Uh, I got it. Yep. Mentality. Absolutely. I got to tell you... That was a fun game to watch, very competitive back and forth, but clearly 
the number one and number four player in the world had complete control of that game. Absolutely, and obviously you could tell that match went a little bit longer than the previous one, so you know it was it was a hard fought battle between both of them. All right, guys, we're live here interviewing the sisters. What's up, sisters? How are y'all doing? Good. <laughs> All right. So you guys are our first interview of the day. Earlier we had some technical difficulties. We couldn't do any interviews. But um, talk to us about playing against the number one and the number four ladies doubles pros uh, in the world. Like, and what, what, what kind of um, – it's, it's difficult, obviously, to try to play against those players that um, they're comfortable in that environment and they play well together and you guys um, fought hard. The points were very competitive. But talk about that experience. So this is our first tournament together ever. We, this is our first day that we've played. Three matches in a row, our first three times we've ever played. So it was an adjustment just to even learn how to play with each other. I think we got to understand where we should stack because obviously Sa Vivian's a little stronger. So she can hit that forehand a little bit better than I can. But um, I think it was interesting. It was definitely neat to be able to play the top players and see how we match up. Um, but what do you think, Viv? Yeah, and I, I, I'll say this. I think you guys started maybe a little slow or a little tight or whatever, but I, we saw a change when you guys were down. Honestly, I think it was 11-1, to 1, but you guys caught some momentum. Talk about when you started gaining some confidence there and you guys figured a couple – looked like you figured a couple things out there. <laughs> Yeah, I think we just started playing a little bit, not going for so much, trying to play out the ball. Um, just kind of, you know, it doesn't matter who's on the other side of the court. Just play your game and hope for the best. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, thank you all so much for your time. We'll see you next round.